Good afternoon, Salma. It's uh, Julie Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Australia. Uh, going to do a pour for you. Well, I'm actually <coughs> not going to pour. I'm going to dip. Um, I'm going to dip on the um, bubble wrap. This I've laid the bubble wrap down on my big old. This was one of my. Uh, Lazy Susans off a big outdoor table that I had and I used to use this a lot when I first started pouring <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah so it's been painted on a lot but I'm using it now because I want to um, dip this was a canvas that I did previously and I wasn't happy with how it turned out so what I did is just yesterday I just went over with a white just the white acrylic normal coat. I'm not sure how it will turn out. I'm going to today <coughs> dip it onto that. And if I have still enough on there, then I will dip a um, MDF placemat. These placemats I get from Kmart in Australia. <coughs> you can get the MDF rounds cut out from various places. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. I have got a cold, been isolated, and apparently I haven't got um, the virus, but I have got a cold. I don't feel ill, but um, yeah, it's giving me a bit of croaky voice. So this is the plan, <laughs> man. I've stuck my plastic bubble wrap, which are somebody asked are they all flat or are they bubbly well they're all bubbly i haven't even though it's it's great therapy to just have a piece of this and sit there pressing it but anyway anyhow i've just popped it onto here and i've just secured it with a little bit of masking tape and i'm going to dip like i said that uh, canvas that i didn't particularly like Today I'm again using my Montmartre paints, uh, lovely thick and creamy, and I'm using them with the clear PVA glue. I have the pouring recipe, my links to suppliers are all underneath in the drop down box. So, 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 here we go, flow. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to, I'll explain the colours as I go along, but I love. Uh, doing dips and they usually always turn out really lovely <clears throat> so this is just my plain white so I'm going to go around the very edges with my white I have done a marker there a white marker a black marker to just show where the edge of my canvas comes to so I don't basically go over that area and I'm probably not go right the way to the edge with my colours that's why I'm putting this white on the bubble wrap now some people say what difference does it make putting the bubble wrap there I just find that to the finished canvas it can sometimes give a stippled effect just gives like a bit of a textured effect now if you can hear that sound of the bird in the background they're black yellow tailed black cockatoos and we don't see them too often here but the last couple of days for whatever reason they've been flying like 22 of them have been flying around our property landing in the trees like at least four or five times a day so i'm not sure what that means if anything but it's a really um strange thing like to what's go what's going on so i'm gonna pour in the these in the chevron even on this um round i'm going to do my chevron pour because it's just always looks so effective so i hope you're all keeping safe and now is the most perfect time out of any to if you haven't already started your artistic endeavor is to give it a go and um do some art it's a really beautiful pastime and you know what better time than now so that was the Montmartre Studio White this is 
Okay, I think it was. So these are a little bit. I think this was the magenta um, in the Montmartre. Those were, that is the colour chart of the new colours that's come out in Montmartre. Uh, So it's just basically going all over the surface what you're going to pour in in these chevron patterns you can hear those yellow tailed black cockatoos that's what they're called try and find a picture of them if i cannot get one myself to add to the end of the video show you what they look like They're pretty rare, even in Australia, so I'm told, but like I said, for some reason, they're hanging out at our place. Maybe they know something that we don't know. I hope it's good. <laughs> okay, so next in line is the Brilliant Red. This is the Brilliant Red. So I'm going all out with my colours. I want something bright and uplifting today. I feel like something bright and uplifting. I think we all need something bright and uplifting. <laughs> so there they go. <clears throat> Yeah, if anybody knows why the cockatoos are starting to just settle here for the last few days, I, I don't know. We've, we're high, we're high up a mountain. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. Uh, I don't. I, I like I said, we see them maybe a couple of times a week. Go past normally in the late afternoon from wherever they've been hanging out during the day or feeding, but. Like I said, for the last couple of days, it's been here. Alrighty, um, I'm going to go with the lovely turquoise. You know how much I love turquoise. So we'll do this, do this. Keep going in your chevron patterns. sort of all over the place with them but I'm just trying to keep the kind of the chevron pattern going all over the place now okay I've just got one little bit left in there so I will not waste it so it's so much fun um, dipping on the chevrons um, oh, chevrons dipping on the bubble wrap it's it's a beginners kind of thing even for a beginner you will get a lovely result so that's why I always advise, even if you're just only recently just venturing into this particular art of acrylic pouring, um, is try the chevron first if you haven't, I mean, try the dipping first if you haven't tried, because it's what encourages you if you get really good results in the first few pours, it sort of think, wow, that's what I can do. So I just advise, you know, that these are a really good beginners, but then again, they certainly look like advanced when you have uh, finished. So give it a go if you're home at the moment and you've never tried art, you can order all of your art products online still. Uh, in Australia, my art suppliers are still working flat out so um, thank you Di Diane and Anthony for keep sending me my supplies and lots of our pourers so their um, 
suppliers underneath. And if you're in the US, there is a link, and Canada, there is a link that I have been given to um, the link to the Montmartre stockists. That's all I can give you. So they're all there. There's links to beginners videos, which I will actually probably put this in a playlist on the beginners videos because it is a nice easy style to begin with but it's also excellent for um, advanced porous okay it's kind of I've probably put way too much like I normally do paint on here but I'm hoping I'll just dip different things into it to get the most out of that paint that I possibly can all right I want something real dark in there to make it pop so I'm going to go the purple just gonna try and do this very mindfully <laughs> I don't want the whole thing dropping out on my canvas and then the purple taking over but it is really nice it makes all those other colors pop when you've got a real nice dark contrast and of course the dark purple or crimson is very nice and very good color to do that so I'm just hoping that I save that canvas that I didn't like I didn't scrape it at the time because I thought oh maybe I'll, I'll um, warm to it but I didn't so I've just like I did just painted over it I've just put a just an ordinary coat it's nothing special it's not an undercoat or anything so I hope it dries nicely and doesn't um, crack it shouldn't do because I have done that before right right here let's let's give this a go and of course you never know what you're gonna get so really really hoping that this is a stunner so I might mark out the way and I'm gonna go with this so just hoping that this does the does the right thing okay let's do it I usually put some push pins in the bottom of this to give it a um, like a basically a handle to pull it back up off but I think I can do it quite easily with because it's got nice chunky sides so so but yeah please have a go at this it just you can use something to slide around and you know special tools on it but I just find my hand is sufficient and if you find when you lift it up, the paint has missed any particular spots. Where's the flies come from? Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you find that when you lift it up, the paint has missed a particular spot, don't worry, just dip. I've got a little balloon, I dip in the colour and then re-dip on the canvas. So there's nothing that you can't save. Oh, look at this, I can turn it around now. But I don't really need to, so I'll just give it a good pressing it's very pressing okay here goes here goes let's see what this is oh no that has come out why has that gone like that don't like that that's gone real muddy now I don't normally get that, so I wonder why that is. Okay, not as good as I expected. I might scrape that. I'm going to put it aside for a second. It usually comes out nice and crisp, so I'm just... Obviously, maybe my paint's maybe too thin this time, because it normally comes out crisp like this. So, plan B... Do I do? What do I do? I think my my paints were too runny, or I just put too much in there. I'll just try just some white in there, see if I can 
save it but yeah i the first time i've ever had a canvas go that muddy and i think because i purposely made these paints up for um a swipe that i've been doing the last few days um and i purposely made it runny i'm going to add some silver but i'm, I'm obviously going to just i don't want to waste any more paint if this is just not going to work so there you go there's something learned is um if you're doing a flip a, a dip make your paints up that little bit thicker i'm just trying to have a look here what thicker paints i've got i've got a viridian i might try that i'll just give it a go and if i completely have ruined this what i'll do is i'll scrape that and i will start again but obviously not with thin paint this is definitely has turned out like this because the paints are thin i can see it already so i'll just try it with this and we'll give it a go and if not i will scrape there's not really much i can do about that particular the colors around the edges look how nice it would have been but that has turned out very muddy so i am not that has got to be scraped but i am going to show you because i want you to see <laughs> what not to do okay now this is difficult because i haven't got anything to pull up on that ah uh, look at this maybe i'll push it back down again that would have been quite nice but look at all the bits that's missed all right plan b i will use my balloon in the colors and i'm going to I'll, I'll lift it back up and show you just give me a second oh look at those that's nice just give me a second because i can't um i'll lift it back up and show you what i've got when i finish just pushing this balloon that's actually turned out really nice so I might have to swap places. Look at that. So that was just pushing the balloon. I just pushed it into those other colors. So I might just try, maybe I can save the other one by balloon, balloon kissing. I need to push it down. And I can't move this out of the way without getting you guys what I might do is I might come back to that I'll just reorganize everything and come back just moved the tragedy back to this position and my dipper uh, over there what I did this one turned out pretty beautiful I'm really happy with that one um, definitely the mistake was my paints were too thin on the dip and they've muddied so I might just try oh that's not gonna work ah don't know if this will work I'm gonna just try and do leave the edges but do balloon dips on it in the nice bright colors if not I have to just See, I love this edge, but I don't like, obviously, this is all just mud. Look at those nice bright colours that are there, though. <laughs> oh. Okay, don't do your dips thin, not too thin anyway. So, 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 I'm just thinking, I'll just try dipping into the paint that I balloon kissing, let's see no no i don't like it okay what might we try this is okay i'm gonna scrape the lot i'm gonna scrape it off but i've got to work quick if you're going to use one that you've scraped because you need to do if you're going to pour straight away over it you need to do it while your paint is still wet i'll try a flip cup or a swipe over it that's what i'll try so this is yeah um 
people that get stuck and they say, oh, you, you know, what do I do? I'll get to this and I, well, I'm showing you now complete, well, I'm not panicked because it's only pain. And I actually love these challenges. So what I'm going to go with, probably should get more of that off. Maybe even wipe it a little bit or is that going to make it worse? <laughs> okay. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be right. Okay. Work quick, quick, quick. I'm going to try and do a swipe on it. So let's get going. Look, if it works, it works. And it doesn't, it doesn't. I've got the paints made now. So you're getting a, <laughs> a what not to do. And let's hope it turns out a treasure afterwards. Oh, praying. <laughs> But then again, that's life, isn't it? It doesn't always go the way you plan. So we'll get back in with the orange. So if you get stuck like that and it's really awful, you know that it's not a good painting. You either swipe it straight away well, there's two things to learn there you, you you get rid of the paint straight away like I have done or uh, like the previous one the paint was um, what you call it there but I didn't I just poured over it so I just put a, a coat so there's quite a few lessons to learn from this particular video and yet I'm not shy about putting my failures with my successes because I don't believe in that at all that people just want to see somebody having success after success they want to actually know what to do if they do get in a pickle so um, not all about the per perfect painting for people so there you go you seeing my absolute craziness going on here I want to put a bit of that purple in I know it's a shocking bit of a shocker but or should I swipe in purple Decisions, decisions. I might add some of this lovely cerulean blue. See, I've got these with a whole thicker mix because I mix these up for a different lot of paintings that I'm going to do this afternoon. So I'm using these now where I hadn't planned to. I planned to use the thinner ones, but you know life changes look look at this with us now for us all life's changing who'd have thought you know that this could ever happen to us i mean it was probably was a thought but just hoped and prayed that nothing would disturb our comfortable lives but certainly has and we've all got to be kind stick with it help one another i think it's probably a test to us all to see if we'll love thy neighbour, help one another out instead of get crazy. So we've all got to be patient with one another. I am not going to, oh, I've got all these colours set aside here. I wanted to use that purple but I will do that on the next pour I do. I just want to tilt these to cover my canvas so I'm sorry if this is going to be a long video um, just pause it and go for a cup of coffee or bring go make a cup of coffee bring it in and sit in front and self isolate watching Jilly Gate Jillifying kind of uh, took all those nice bright colours and covered them. That was uh, a white with a bit of gold in it, believe it or not, this this colour here. So I really would like to add a bit more. Now, do I swipe in the bright red or do I swipe in a... Okay. I'm going to just put a teeny tiny, teeny tiny bit of the purple.
Okay, get back to it, back on track, and I will swipe with the magenta. This is one of the new colours, so I'm going to use the swipe from the centre. I'm trying to do a really, really thin line. Okay, that's probably way thin, but I'm going to give it a go. And I'll swipe with a sheet. I was grabbing my Swifty swipe, but I think I'll try and do it with one sheet. Yeah, I forgot to put my glove back on. So I'm going to do it with this. This is a soft plastic file divider. That is probably too thin. But I'm going to see if I can... Whoop. There you go. You think it's thin, but look at that. Oh. See, even this I can see is going muddy. The paints are way too thin for what I'm working with today. So even those paints, I'm going to have to work with them and thicken them back up. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to... Oh, there was me thinking it was on the spinner and it's not. It's just on a... a duva, on a tray. So, sorry about if this is a long video for you, but you've all got plenty of time now. Oh, I'm trying to do it quickly, but... Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Sorry. It's still going that bit muddier than I would normally get. But that is because those paints are way too thin. I could have thought about my colours a little bit better so as not to allow it to muddy up. But I will get my Wonder Wand. Yes, don't Google Wonder Wand at all. Um, Google if you want one of these heat wand. If you're in Australia, the link is underneath. But the Wonder Wand, yeah, it, it doesn't, it, when you Google it, so my, yeah, don't Google it. I think I'm gonna do one in the, another. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead again. I'm loving these bright colours that have come out, but this is too. The colours I've mixed because they're too thin. Uh, if I'd have laid them in a different way, thinking about the colours over colour, um, this is coming quite pretty, and I'm quite liking it. But I will certainly be using the balloon in it a little bit to jillify it so I actually I would go to my little water balloon little it's just a little it's just a normal size balloon that I put water in it so I'm just going to quickly show you so I don't hold you up any longer oh my goodness look at that that was the bit that this can certainly I can certainly make a treasure out of a sow's ear is that, a, is that what they say? Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at the balloon makes the colours pop through beautifully. So I will go around, I would, and um, jillify it with my little balloon, but I will leave it to dry off a bit because look, there's way too much paint there. But those, it'll make those beautiful colours pop through. So thank you guys for bearing with me through this crazy um, episode on my channel of trying to get things correct. But thanks again. It's turned out lovely. Uh, I will put photos on after I've finished of the finished product so you can have a look. Um, I just continue to play with it, but after it's dried off a bit, just pressing the uh, kissing the balloons onto it. 
so stay safe people thank you so much for watching i'm sorry it was a bit of a crazy but definitely good to show you what not to do and then how to rescue because that was pretty good rescue so let me know what you think be kind give me a thumbs up very much appreciated and until next time keep safe bye for now